Hi, my name is John Forster. I'm the Deputy Minister at National Defense. Uh, my role here at National Defense uh, is certainly to provide leadership to the organization, uh, to provide policy support uh, to the Minister of National Defense in achieving the government's objectives, and to work closely in partnership with the Chief of the Defense Staff in making sure the military has the resources and uh, capabilities it needs to operate around the world and in Canada. Well, it's a really exciting time to be uh, at Defence. We have a new government, they have a lot of uh, ambitious priorities. So my first and foremost role is to support the Minister and the government in achieving uh, what the priorities are in the Minister's mandate letter. First and foremost on our, our list was to uh, reformulate the, Canada's role and mission in Iraq and Syria in the fight against ISIS. But there's other important priorities. Most, uh, the one I'm looking forward to a lot is the renewal of the defense policy this year. Uh, we haven't updated our defense policy since 2008. And this government's been very clear in its mandate letter to us. We're gonna do this in an open and transparent manner, which means we're gonna consult with Canadians, we're gonna consult with stakeholders, with parliamentarians to contribute to that discussion. Well, Defence Renewal is a pretty ambitious and exciting uh, initiative underway, but it's complicated. I'm not sure we've done the best job communicating what it's all about. Some people think it's kind of a bureaucratic exercise, some people think it's about cuts. I see it as an opportunity again to really transform uh, the way we do business in defense, and that's what it's about. How can we uh, remove useless steps or bureaucratic process, make it easier? Whether you're a mechanic on the shop floor, uh, repairing vehicles, or you're building IT systems for the future. Well, in my time at Defense over the past year, I've had a chance to meet a lot of, uh, a lot of the people here and seen some of the operations, and I have to tell you, it's a great team. People are committed, they're dedicated, uh, and Defence has a great reputation across the government as an organization that can get things done. One of the things that strikes me uh, since joining the Defence team is the need to be innovative and search out new solutions, new technology. Um, we've got some brilliant people here, brilliant minds, we've got a strong research and development team. I'd like to be able to encourage more dialogue and discussion. Uh, that breaks down silos in between the groups, that encourages and thinks outside the box about new ways to do things. So I hope all of us in the entire organization will constantly challenge the status quo. You know, I think the award ceremony that we just had is really important. And I think that this is something I've enjoyed participating in, not just the one here in Defense, but throughout my career. It gives you a chance to really recognize people who do extraordinary work, whether it's finding a new process, inventing a new technique, building a new system that allows us to get our jobs done uh, that much better. So the move to the new uh, campus at Carling, it's a really great location and the facility's great. And I think a lot of people will enjoy working out there uh, in the new building and the new location. It will help consolidate a lot of us together uh, for the first time and reduce our kind of how scattered and spread out we are. Now, there are a lot of challenges for all of us. How are we going to commute there? How do we work there? But you know, the opportunity is enormous. Uh, what I find really exciting about working at National Defense is the nature of the work we do and how important it is to uh, Canadians, how important it is to protecting Canada, how important it is to uh, supporting peace and security around the world. And I think what's uh, exciting about coming here to work each day is the fact that you are contributing to that mission, uh, which is so important.